Hello students, welcome to the Biomagnification Hidden Dangers in Food Webs Lab. I went ahead and made this YouTube video to talk a little bit about the materials every group will have, as well as the procedures you will follow, just so that it's easier to explain and you can all see what I'm doing here. So, talking about materials, it says shaker cup. So we're gonna use a bowl. As you can see, they're all filled with beads already. We'll talk about the beads in a second. Nine small cups. That's these guys right here, these small plastic little cups here. You'll get nine of those. These represent the minnows, those small little fish that live in ponds and streams. Three medium cups. This will represent sunfish, and sunfish are predators of the minnows. They'll eat them. And then one large cup, which is the, the major predator for this lab, the osprey. It says M&Ms, but as you can see, we'll be using beads instead of M&Ms. Uh, now the white, no, excuse me, the red beads. Yeah, let's go with the, the red beads are the algae contaminated with DDT. And the white beads are as regular DDT, regular algae that is not contaminated. Let me repeat that. The 20 white beads is regular algae. The 10 red beads is algae contaminated with DDT. So let's go to the procedures. Uh, number one says in the data table, record the amount of DDT per producer. So all the way across is gonna be pretty much the same because there's 10 DDTs out of 30 entire organisms. So that's one third. So one third of them are contaminated with DDT. That makes sense. Next step, carefully give the shaker a good shake. Next step, number four, now simulate minnows eating some of the producers. How you do this, randomly remove three of any color beads from the shaker cup and place them into one of the small cups. That's these guys. So you set it to the side, you and your group members maybe just kind of look up. Don't, don't try and pick a certain color. Just pick three in your fingers and drop them in. And you're gonna repeat that for all nine cups. You will have some left over, by the way. And I went ahead and pre-prepared these for you. So I have nine cups here with these represent the minnows that have eaten algae. And as you can see, some of them have eaten DDT algae. Okay, so that's all there. Next step. Oh, so here we're going to um, record the amount of DDT in the minnows. So what you got to do is just count how many reds versus overall beads. So we know we have 27, right? Because 9 times 3, we have 27 beads total. How many are red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I have 10 out of 27. And you could convert that to a decimal as well. You might want to do that towards the end. Uh, but to save time, I'll let you guys do that on your own. The next step, now simulate the sunfish eating minnows. Each sunfish needs to eat two minnows. So here's your cup. This is a sunfish. The way you do that is you empty the contents of two medium-sized cups into the large cup or we or these smaller cups into the medium cup because that's what we're using here so each sunfish eats two minnows so the way you do that is you dump the beads into there the next sunfish eats two the next sunfish eats two and that's it in your data table, record the amount of DDT in the sunfish. So now we have 18 beads. How many are red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of 18 are red. And again, you can convert that to decimal if you want. It might make things easier towards the end. Finally, simulate an osprey eating sunfish. One osprey needs to consume two sunfish. The way you do that, here's our osprey. Empty the contents of the two medium-sized cups into the larger cup. In your data table, record the amount of DDT in the osprey. So whichever cup you want, he eats two of them. Eat, eat. Now we record what's the osprey got. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of which are red, so it's a half Half of them are DDT. And empty the contents of the Osprey back into the shaker cup and repeat steps three through seven two more times to get a total of three trials. Calculate the average amount of DDT for each organism. 
So, and then after that, you have some questions to answer. Uh, and of course, we're always gonna be around to help you.